Good morning, YouTube. It's 5.40 in the morning, and I'm right outside Ando's house. Well, well, well. <laughs> Is it really you? Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Andy. We're trying to answer the question, are you really that pretty in the morning? <laughs> Shall I make us some coffee? Yes. Oh, all right. Who's that? Hmm? Well, right. good, good morning. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, too. I had a little trouble getting in the house, but at least I didn't wake you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was so fucking out. Oh, okay. All right. I just like came home after my gig last night and I knew I was going to be waking up early so I just got I just got so stoned and then tried to sort of go to bed early what are we doing today? well my god I should put on a shirt <laughs> um, we are we're gonna go down to Boulder and um, install some paintings at a brewery at a million o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's, it's early. Yeah, <laughs> it <laughs> is early. It's a little too early for artwork. I don't know. She thinks that I've forgotten that every morning she gets to drink a little bit of milk. Nice. Which is fair, because I forget all kinds of stuff. Uh, I used to be a professional coffee maker. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. For a minute. A long minute. I noticed that. Pro Batman, anti Nazi, every single time. You got it. I've been wearing this anti Nazism stick uh, pin for 15 years, you know, and it was always just kind of this cute little, well, of course, you know. Who wouldn't? Everyone's against the Nazis. But this year, it seems like a, an important pin to wear. You know? yeah, oh my God! Yeah, it doesn't seem like everybody's so anti-Nazi anymore. And as like a six-foot-tall white blonde guy, I think it's probably pretty good for me to go on the record <laughs> as being <laughs> anti-Nazis. Cause I, I hate the Nazis, but the Nazis would love me, right? Because I'm, I'm their prototype. I'm like Hitler's wet dream. You know, <laughs> like six foot tall, white fella with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. I'm exactly what they wanted the whole world to look like. So uh, the Nazis probably would dig me, but I, I, I don't dig them. I turned down them, you know. Hitler's wet dream. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this painting is called Don't Count the Bushes. And uh, everything in the painting is numbered out to the Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. So there's, uh, you know, one road, 
the, the Fibonacci sequence is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. You know. uh, one road, one dog, <laughs> you know, uh, two pyramids. Oh, yeah. Three rocks, five paintings, eight people, uh, and 13 trees. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> There's no real reason to do it, but, it, you know, to me it symbolizes sort of like, I don't know, kind of the mystical and ordered nature of the universe, I guess. Kind of the natural, the natural order of things, which is essentially what the Fibonacci sequence is. You know. So you're going to put this up on the wall today or let this sit so. for a while? I mean, I, you know, it, it ain't going to sell here, you know, because <laughs> I can't afford to buy it. And, uh, you know, I like showing it. So, yeah, I'll probably bring it. It's my best piece I've got at this point. I'm glad I got my wall back up here. This is where I shoot all my YouTube stuff. I yeah, yeah. This color thing. I was going to shoot a couple with this in the background. I didn't get around to it yet. I hope I never do. You know, I hope that, like, it leaves the house today and never comes home. You know, that would be the best. Well, it looks good here now. Yeah, I really enjoyed making it. It took about three weeks. Because I could only do it in my spare time. You know, I've got all mm -hmm. these gigs that I'm always doing and shows every night. And so, plenty of work to do in the office during the day to book the shows and stuff. Trying to do this one in my free time really took a month, you know, three or four weeks. How long does your typical painting, a painting, take? Probably like five sittings, you know? Yeah. Something like that. Kind of sit down to sketch, sit down to sketch again. Do you sketch on the actual canvas you're painting on? So. Which you're not probably really supposed to do, I guess. Yeah, I there's know. all kinds of shit I'm doing we're not supposed to do. Um, yeah, I sketch it on the canvas. Um, I'll even do shading with my first sketch, which you're really not supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're using watercolor, because all the water does is it picks up that graphite, just washes it around the canvas, puts you in fucksville pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, I'll sit down and I'll sketch it twice, and then it probably takes me three sittings of painting and, you know, shading and all this. So... But those sittings can all be two or three hours long. So. so, it's early in the morning. It's I don't have a show tonight. The only people that are going to see me today are Peter, Greg later when we do a podcast, and um, this this lady at the at the brewery. So I can smell weird today. This is my fragrance sample box. Um, inside. As you might imagine, are a bunch of fragrance samples. Oh, they bring me so much joy. Um, it's kind of a chilly day, right? A little chilly in the morning here. By the time it's afternoon, I'll be by myself, so I can pick any fragrance in the world, is how that works. And I think I'm going to choose... Um, this strange Tom Ford fragrance. It's called Ombre Leather. And as you might imagine from the name, it smells exactly like leather. And it is surprisingly strong. And when I put this on, I believe we will get comments while we're hanging out with other people. I believe they will say, somebody smells like a new car or whatever, <laughs> you know. So, I'm going to put this shit on. Tom Ford is one of my favorite fragrance designers. You know, that's going to be more than we need. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it smells so good, though. In about five seconds, you're going to be smelling it, too. Watch this. Oh, yeah. You smell that from over yeah, there? I do. You're totally uh, six feet away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's this belt. It's this leather belt I got on it. It smells so leathery. You know? <laughs> so, 
So that's going to be my fragrance. This is going to last me all day. Greg's going to ask me about it tonight at 6 p.m. <laughs> in the 12 hours. Greg's going to be like, Wait, why do you smell like a couch or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> so here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could hang 20 paintings in this joint. There it is. Just a good ass, he has a meal. Is this open? Yep. setting up art stuff, especially in a venue like this where there's lots of space. My goal will be to sort of order these paintings in a way that creates little moments. I guess I'll try and explain it as we go here. We'll see. He's helpful, but he's also a poo. How we have fixed these to the bricks yet? But well, we can start kind of placing them. Great. Bolts all over the wall. This is going to be easy. Sort of start dispersing them through the space. So, I think I'm going to put this big painting here, that seems like the best spot. Let's see if I can get this light. Here. This is fun. I love doing this, man. Setting it up an art show. Yeah. It, for some reason... It's like a, making a set list, right? You it get, is. You, totally you, like making the set list. And this color on this wall goes very well with all the blues that I'm using. Some of this stuff I probably just hang already. I knock some of this out now. Putting it on the wall straight. <laughs> They're not even with each other, but that's that don't bother me so much. All right. So we have this kind of one of the best spaces to hang paintings in here is going to be by the bathrooms. Yeah. Because that's step two of drinking a beer is release it back to the wild, you know. <laughs> so I'm going to take three paintings to put in the hallway. I think I'm going to do this series back there. These are some of the more fun paintings I've done lately. I think this is a primo spot. Totally.
this is a, a lady I met in Longmont. She worked at the Firehouse Art Center there for a minute. Her name is Celia. She's a beautiful young lady and uh, perfect for this particular image. Awesome, dude. Yeah, that works. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think so too. What? We're just knocking this out. I love, I like my paintings, right? And I like that they make me laugh, you know? Because I'm the first customer, you know what I'm saying? And I need this stuff to bring me joy. And so when I'm hanging it up in a public space, I, it just tickles me, man. It just, it brings me in such a good mental space to share my kind of benign insanity with the world. Yeah, that'll go, right? Yeah. Try to create these little moments where these paintings are sort of hanging out together a little bit, you know? So I'm trying to go with a little bit of a theme with each cluster. Is yeah. Another way to say that, I guess. I think we're in pretty good shape so far. I've got two more here and one more there. Boy, if I had a screwdriver. The more I look at this collection, the more I realize how much blue and pink I use. It came together quick, didn't it? Well, I wish there was more to do. It's fun to put stuff together. I wish I had 50 paintings to hang in this space, you know? And I love this brewery, too. These guys have a brown ale. I don't know if it's in season yet. It should be. The brown ale up here is just... The brown up here is really good. Uh, honey brown, I think it's called. Dude, I love... I, Billy's Chili's from that up here, too. I love this place. This is sort of like a, I don't know, like an extra, I think this is good business. Um, I'll be taking my business cards and I'll be writing a thank you note on the back of them and I'll be putting them behind the painting. So when you take the painting home, you pull out this little card that says thank you for your interest in my work, it's got my contact information. That's turned into future sales for me. Hi, good morning, sir. I'm late. No worries. Aww. I need a Phillips, please. Yeah. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm just glad to have it out in the world where people can enjoy it. Is that the Virgin Mary? <laughs> What's the baby in that, I mean, that thing with baby Jesus, but it looks like a robot She's baby? Got a cyborg Christ. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she gets it, man. <laughs> it kind of brings it back towards center a little. That feels better to me. Yeah, good. Right? That works. Putting that one down there seems to sort of make that feel a little bit more like a balanced area. I like it. What are their names? <laughs> they don't have names. Joe and Schmo. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they look really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. I think I'm gonna buy that one. Awesome, dude. I love all these lights. So Ooh, easy I don't know which one is like it looks nice. I like that one. That one's really cool. What's happening right there to her? The lady? She's blooming. Is she gonna like pull dancing? I don't know if that's her business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did this painting. I thought it was a cool stem concept. It's then so I realized cool. what I was mostly painting was ladies' hands. 
experiences at like a super great angle. Michelle, when did you start doing this whole art on the walls here? Um, January of this year. Okay. Thanks for including me. Uh, Andy here is one of my favorite artists so far. Oh my god. Thank oh, you so much. that's awesome. I like this girl too. I saw her on your Facebook. Yeah, that's uh, my friend Lindsay Carney. So that's not somebody you made up, that's an actual person. Usually when I do a full-size portrait, I use a friend. Yeah. You know. I really want to get back into acrylic. I love this kind of texture mm -hmm. stuff. And it stays where you put it, which is the shit, compared to watercolor, which is... Oh, yeah. That's, is that, that's a cigarette, not a weed. Say weed, is it? Well, you know, it is what... I, to me, they're all joints, because I don't smoke <laughs> cigarettes. I try not to, like, put, you know, a little blood or whatever in there, just so people can... I don't know. Take it how they want to. Yeah, it's not important to me what's in it. The fact is, it's burning down. That's the fun idea. Yeah, that's one of my friends, Celia. I Bob Ross the shit out of that tree. You sure did. <laughs> A couple of happy little brush strokes here. That's one happy oh, tree. <laughs> yeah, I love the texture shit you can get with watercolor. It's just, it's barely controllable. It's awesome. It's funny, I uh, like watching Bob Ross's like uh, episodes and stuff. He still have the, the most amazing landscape ever, and then he just starts painting over it with something else. Yeah. You're like, dude, you just messed uh, up that whole thing. Yeah. He's but like, puts it, a tree over it or something. Holy yeah. fuck! But then it turns out amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I cannot stop watching you. And then I there's always that, those like pet little shorts at the end. Yeah, with his little chipmunks or whatever they are, squirrels and shit. He's a happy sloth here. <laughs> <laughs> and then he like plays with the sloth. It's yeah. Like, he's so a cool. great, he's like... He's an entertainer. One of sure. my favorite artists. Mm -hmm. One, because he makes beautiful work, sure. But also, you can tell he's a good dude. Yes. And like, that comes through in his work, you know? And that makes me like his work more. Because yeah. of the kind of dude he is. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's why I like Bob Ross a lot. Bob Ross is pretty chill. Fuck okay. yeah. I love that color of the wall that really seems to go with a lot of the colors I'm using. It looks really nice, yeah. Well, cheers. I'm definitely going to, I'm either going to get the one of you thinking or the girl. Mm, I this, encourage All that. of your colors go well with my palette and my house. Thanks for spending the morning with me, Peter. Yeah, man, it was a pleasure. It was. Thank you very much for spending the morning uh, with me and watching this video. As I say that, I recognize that it's morning for me, but you will almost by default not be watching this as I'm making it. So when I say thank you for spending the morning with me, what I really mean is this is how I spent my morning. Thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to uh, see my paintings, then you can go to Twisted Pine Brewing in Boulder, Colorado in the month of October um, in the year 2018. And um, those paintings will be up and uh, for sale. Uh, meanwhile, thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Please also check out Brave Night Media on Patreon and here on YouTube and on all the places where they show video things. Um, Peter Garland is the guy holding the camera right now. He is an essential character in my world and there's so much that I'm doing now that I couldn't do without him. So thanks to Peter thanks, for man. showing up at my house in the middle of what felt like the night but was in fact the morning. Cheers. Thank you very much. How's that work? That's awesome. Thank you, actually, and thank you. We keep on plugging. <laughs>